So, are you thinking about moving to Rochester, New York and looking for someone to give you the bottom line about what it's really like? Well, we are about to give you the good, the bad, and the ugly of living in Rochester, New York. Hi, I'm Jamie Messner, and welcome to another episode of Rochester and Rosé, where we show you Rochester living. Every day, we help people relocate and move around our city. So if you have any additional questions or need assistance, don't hesitate to reach out and ask. In this video, we're gonna give you some of the great things about living in Rochester, and some of the not so great things. Yes, living in Rochester has its pros and cons, First, we're gonna start by giving you the top three reasons why people love living here. The first and very most popular reason is that we have all four seasons. Spring, summer, winter, and fall, we've got it all here in Rochester. A four seasons climate has the benefit of more activities, including sports and hobbies. Some of the local favorites are skiing and snowboarding, golfing, hiking, water sports, festivals, and wine tasting my favorite. Obviously, these are each enjoyed more in some seasons rather than others, but a favorite activity among Rochesterians all year round is our local food scene. If you've never experienced a garbage plate or a white hot, you're in for a treat. So now that we know about all four seasons, let's get into the second reason why people love living here. It is super affordable. The cost of living in Rochester is about 11% lower than the national average, with a current median home price at $180,000. Rochester is also one of the top cities that millennials are moving to. Rochester is also the top metro area for growth and strategic investment in technology innovation. So now that we know how affordable Rochester is, let's get into the third reason why people love living here. You're only a short road trip away from some of the best day trips and weekend getaways. The Finger Lakes region, home of over 100 wineries, breweries, and distilleries, also known for producing some excellent wine, is within a 90 minute drive of Rochester. Not only does this region produce over 85% of New York State's wine, it's also full of natural beauty and tons of outdoor activities. From boating, tours, or hiking a trail with 19 waterfalls is a must-visit destination that's close to home. The Adirondack Mountain region is also only just a couple hundred miles away from Rochester, and another awesome place to visit with a ton of things to do. The Adirondack region spreads over six million acres and home to the largest protected natural area in the lower 48 states. It's also considered to be one of the landmarks of the Ice Age. And if you're an outdoor enthusiast, hiking the 46 Adirondack High Peaks is one of the greatest challenges in the region. And you can earn a spot in the 46ers Club if completed. So those are some of the pros, but let's give you the lowdown on some of the cons living here. Because not everything is perfect, and if you're serious about living here, you're gonna need to know this stuff. Did you know that Rochester has some crazy high property tax rates? Yes, that's correct. The prices of real estate may be low, but our property taxes are a whole other story. The effective property tax rate here in Rochester is over 2% higher than the national average. This could affect affordability when looking to purchase a home in Rochester, as sometimes the monthly property tax payments can be almost just as much as your principal and interest payment. But our high taxes don't stop there. You'll also be paying more than many states in your income tax and sales tax as well. If you can deal with the high property taxes, then maybe you won't mind the snowy, cold winters. I personally am not a fan of the long winters here. So if you hate snowy, cold, long, dark winters as much as I do, you're going to need to get used to it. Here's what I do. I bundle up in several layers and get outside. It is much easier to handle if you find something to do and just enjoy it while it's here. Or I head down to one of those local wineries and just wait for spring. Rochester averages over 80 inches of snow per year. That's compared to the average snowfall in the United States, which is about 30 inches a year. The snowfall isn't the worst of it though. The winters are often cold and cloudy. 
Rochester already has less sunny days per year than the national average, with the winter months making up a majority of them. So be sure to stock up on some vitamin D. Now one last thing you need to be prepared for is the potholes. Rochester drivers lose hundreds of dollars each year to just crappy road conditions, specifically the dreaded pothole. These massive craters in the streets are caused by our constant freeze and then thaw cycles. And they create some serious problems for drivers. Not only that, but the constant creation and then fixing of these potholes has put Rochester on the map for its seemingly never-ending road construction. Well, I hope this video gave you some insight of the pros and cons of living in Rochester. We help people every day move and relocate here, and we'd love to help you too. If you have any additional questions about Rochester, please don't hesitate to reach out and ask. And if you like this video and want to receive more videos that are focused on everything Rochester, be sure to subscribe above. My name is Jamie Messner with Premium Mortgage, and thanks for watching.